Okay, so in this part we're going to go ahead and um, start creating the door. Um, and again, we're going to use the same technique that we did before to make sure that this piece will line up exactly. And hopefully, I'll be able to squeeze um, most of uh, the door in this part. So the first thing we're going to do, we're actually going to go ahead and duplicate this because again, like I said last part, it would have been easier if we um, had an unsmoothed version of this. So quickly what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and get rid of these edges um, just so it's going to be easier for us to select the faces that we need. So I'm just going to shift double click, delete those edges and that should um, allow us to select these faces easier. Okay. So let's go ahead and um, start selecting these faces that we need for the door. And hopefully I'll be able to squeeze in most of this into this um, this part. So let's just select them all and then go to duplicate face. There it is. Edit the little by type history. And we can actually get rid of this main one. Just hit shift P to get rid of that node and delete it. Okay. And now we have this face. Let's go ahead and extrude. So select the object, extrude it, press W. I'm just going to go ahead and drag it out of here. Go into my side view. Press R to scale, and I'm going to go ahead and straighten this up. Okay, so basically, this is our door. I'm going to go drag it roughly halfway. And what we're going to do next is we're going to go ahead and cut in um, cut in the hole for this handle, okay? And hopefully it shouldn't be too bad. Now, there are, again, different ways of um, doing this edge flow-wise. Um, but because it's not really going to um, cause us any issues to have edges running down here, uh, we're not going to worry about it too much. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and start a running edge loop so where we're going to need them. So I'm going to need one here, and I'm going to go ahead and straighten it out as well. So here we can have this completely straight because it's not going to interact with anything. And pop this guy there. Okay. So now I'm just trying to block out the um, the main hole that we're going to cut. So you can add an edge loop here as well, and it's going to be straight. Now what you want to pay attention to is that. You don't, the edge loops that you add in doesn't affect the curvature of this, okay? Because then your door is not going to line up. So when I'm adding this loop in, again, I'm going to go ahead and straighten this out, um, but not as much. So I'm going to straighten it probably roughly there, pop it where I need it. And then here I need to be careful because this is a curve. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select that vert and snap that there. And I'm going to leave these out here, okay? Because if you, if you straighten this out, it's going to start interacting with that. So I'm going to be a bit careful with that. And again, we can't add, well, we can add loop across here, but it will change the curvature of this um, unless we move some stuff around. And I don't really want to do that. It would be easier if we just move these two verts down, like so. And I'm also going to go ahead and leave a little bit of a space um, in between because we're going to go ahead and extrude this in once. So I'm going to select all of these and just move them out a little bit. Okay, not too much, just a little bit of a, so there's a little bit of a gap in between here. I'll do the same thing with this. So I just double click, select that edge. Just move it down a little bit. Okay, so once we have this um, sort of hole cut out, um, the mat, we can sort of go down to the next detail level, which is going to be um, this piece here. And it would be probably um, fairly easy just to go ahead and um, add in or move even this point. So if you add in another loop going across here, and we get again. We can go ahead and straighten this out completely because it's not going to affect anything. Okay. And we could go ahead and just move this word up.
and it shouldn't cause too many issues, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead, and actually you can leave this as it is, it's not gonna affect anything. So now that we have this rough shape blocked out, I'm gonna go ahead and select it all, and go ahead and delete this inner face, okay? And same on the inner side. And now what we're gonna worry about is we're gonna go ahead and worry more about this curvature here. So again, we're dropping down um, to another detail level, uh, so to say. So let's go ahead and uh, worry about this one first. So I'm gonna add in two loops here. Uh, so basically we're just making a manual bevel. So I'm gonna select them vert, move this down to the bottom of this curve, then select this middle one, move it to the center of the curve, and this one should be fine where it is. So again, I'm just making this manual curvature here. Let's do the same thing on the other side. So add one, two, select this outer one, move it to the bottom, and again, you're gonna have some issue here because we need to move them vert, so let's go ahead and do that. So let's just push these back a bit. Again, be careful not to push it in too far. And I need to select both sides. So let me just isolate this and select that. Oops, shift select that. And I think that's it. And let's just go ahead and move them both. Probably around here somewhere. Grab this outer guy, move this down. Okay, this will go in the middle and that will stay where it is. So basically we're just making a manual bevel. Okay, nothing too complex. And I'm just gonna push these guys in a little bit more. Okay, let's do the same thing on the bottom. So insert edge loop, one in the middle, one there. So this, these two guys will come up. This will give me my middle, and this will give me my top half of the curve. Okay, so that's looking pretty good. Let's go ahead and smooth. And now we need to sort out. Um, so as you can see, this is curving quite nicely now. Um, Apart from this, but we can add in an extra loop so it won't smooth as much. Okay, and now we're going to go ahead and sort this out. So this will just need support, so it will keep its shape or keep it straight, like so. And same thing up here. Okay, so we basically got this all blocked out now. Um, what I'm a little bit worried about is that this is curving here too much. So what we're gonna do, and that's because it, this bit doesn't have a support, so I'm just gonna go ahead and add a loop here. And that should stop it from um, moving around too much. And we can actually go ahead and grab these move these up a bit while it's moved to straighten that out okay so that looks great um, and again this looks all messy um, here but it doesn't really matter uh, due to the fact that um, if it doesn't have it we don't really have anything here to interact with so it's not going to change um, it's not going to change a whole lot. Um, it's basically just speeding things up for us. It might look nasty, messy at first, but it's okay. So I'm also going to go ahead and add in a loop here, just to keep this a bit tighter. And as you can see, that's pretty close to that, but it's fine. Okay, so that looks great. Let's go ahead and um, start giving this uh, thickness. So I'm going to select both of those, extrude, and then come down to thickness, give it some thickness, like so, and then we can control two vertices, and then shift, right click, merge vertices, merge vertices to center, and probably like a 0 0.5 um, threshold will do it, yep, whoops, 
sorry. First, we need to go ahead and give this an offset before we do that. So let's go ahead and give it a thickness, not thickness, offset. Let's give it a 0.05 offset and then extrude again. And then now do the thickness. And then control right click, two vertices, shift right click, merge vertices with the same threshold. Okay, so that looks great. Now we can go ahead and add in the loop that we need inside here. I want this to be a little bit softer. And if you go ahead and smooth this now, we have our nice cutout. Okay, so that looks awesome. Now let's go ahead and delete this um, <coughs> this face because we're going to go ahead and duplicate this over. So I just select all of that and delete. And now let's, in, let's add in the supporting edges for this. Like so. Okay. And now on this inner side, uh, if you go ahead and smooth this now, as you can see, this bit um, is still really, um, really smooth. And that's because we need a... We need an edge loop going around, but if you notice, our edge loop is going to actually go around the wrong way. So if I add one here, wherever you want it, if you have a look, it'll go here instead of going down there. Um, so we can we can actually leave this uh, messy if you want it to. So if I just show you, if I add it on the bottom as well, um, so I'm going to need one going down here. Okay, so what this will give us is, um, if you notice, if I smooth it now, it will still smooth fairly nice, and because it's such a small detail, um, you're not really going to notice, but what it's going to give us is, um, here, it's going to give us this sort of softer edge, okay, whereas in here, it gives us a lot nicer edge, and we can, we can go ahead and fix that. Um, by moving this edge up and also we can actually combine um, this loop so it's not going to be as messy so we could actually go ahead and sort out this edge flow if we wanted to by um, merging or selecting this vert and we can go ahead and drag this down and try to clean this up a bit more Okay, so we can go ahead and start pushing these down. And then here it is where it goes around. And where is my other guy? My top loop. Okay, so this is the uh, top. And we actually need this to sort of finish here. So this was our um, bottom loop, and they actually do meet here. So what we can do is we can actually go ahead and um, get rid of this. So if I select it on both sides, this might be a little bit um, complicated if you sort of don't know what's going on, but it shouldn't be that bad to follow. So basically we're just trying to track down um, these guys. So I'm just moving this down again so it's easier to see. Okay. So we added this um, first edge. Okay, that goes around here. And this is the second edge that we added that goes around the top half. But what we want to do is um, basically we just want to um, combine them so we sort of get rid of this guy here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select these two, get rid of them, okay? And then now we can go ahead and cut this Probably, let me think about this. We might actually have, 
I mean, now we're going to have this face one, two, three, four. So if we cut this here, this that will turn this guy um, into a quad as well, I think. So it should give us a lot nicer um, edge. And if you just run mesh cleanup to make sure, no, that's an angle on. And it's an angle on there as well. But we might be able to get away with it because when we go ahead and smooth it, this actually looks um, pretty good the way we need it to. So we could go ahead and um, fix this by cutting this all the way down. Or we could just leave it as it is and um, it will probably not going to cause us any issues. So what I'm paying attention to now is uh, mainly this curve and if I'm getting any artifacting in that face there. But if you haven't look on the bottom that we haven't actually fixed yet, um, even if you don't fix it, it doesn't really cause us many issues. So it depends. Um, it really is. It really is up to you if you want to go ahead and fix it um, or not. So this is sort of the fixed version. I would still have to go ahead and tweak stuff here, maybe fix these angles. But um, it's completely up to you if you go ahead and do it or not. Um, it might show up in the render. Probably won't. Um, no one is going to notice because, to be honest, when you do your render, this is going to be in there. So as you can see. Um, it's such a small detail, probably, um, most likely it will never show up, okay? So, um, if you want, go ahead and sort out the bottom as well and the top and maybe tweak uh, these angles. Uh, but for the sake of the uh, tutorial, I'll just leave it as it is and we're going to go ahead and uh, duplicate it over. So, showing you how to fix it, um, you can go ahead and fix this angle if you want. Uh, go ahead and do that. So I'm going to go ahead and add in a other loop here just to hold this uh, edge a little bit better. Okay. And now we can go ahead and duplicate this guy over. And let's just check where we're going to go ahead and snap the um, pivot to this vert. And then control D. This is going to be Z minus one. And let's go ahead and select both of these guys. Mesh combine them and edit delete all by type history. Okay, get rid of this node. Isolate the door, go into a side view. Let's go ahead and select all of these verts and then merge them together. So I'm going to go ahead and zoom in here, merge vertices. Probably with uh, 0 0.02, I should do the trick. Let's go ahead and smooth and see if it worked. Yeah, it seemed to have worked pretty much fine. Okay, so we have our door finished, pretty much. So this is the um, right side of the door. On the left side, the this actually has a, um, a window panel to it that you can see in this reference. So we're going to go ahead and cut this guy in on the other door, probably in the next part. And add in these door handles as well. Um, let me just see if this lines up with our top panel. Okay, so as you can see, it lines up spot on with the top as well as this um, side here. It lines up perfectly. And that's because uh, we got the faces of this main piece, okay? So it looks really good so far. In the next part, we'll go ahead and add in the um, door handles for this, and then we'll duplicate it over to do the other side and cut in the um, window sort of frame here. Okay, so I hope you guys enjoyed this part, and I'll see you guys later.